Izzy, how does how do you, where do you feel you guys are with the run game compared to this time last year? You know, offensive line been sync. Now you've had some scrimmages to feel things out. Oh, I definitely feel like we're way more explosive, way more uh, tougher, way more faster, way more stronger together. How would you analyze how you guys did this weekend at the scrimmage? Oh, it was a great scrimmage all around, defense and offense. Everybody was competing, everybody was working, everybody just showed that, you know, that season right there is around the corner, we ready. Sounds like the defense had a comeback win, right? Is that something you guys take to heart as an offense? Oh yeah, definitely take that to heart. We're gonna definitely work work throughout this week just to beat them. <laughs> How's the division labor working out between the three or four of you guys who get most of the carries? Oh yeah, we all sharing uh, carries working right now. We just, you know, we just trying to get better as a team. Are you getting, is one guy getting more carries than the other? Or is it equally spread out? Everything's equally spread out. What has Sebo added to your room? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sebo's an uh, uh, experienced guy, smart, came from Notre Dame. So he basically just added more experience to our room, you know, just giving us more knowledge. We giving him more knowledge. Just like, you know, we just he's better in the team. What part of your game is different from last year? You, know, you made a lot of big plays, but now you've had time to look at what you did and what you didn't do. What's going to be different than what Sebo is? I'll probably definitely say uh, receiving. Receiving, though, even though I had around about like 200 yards last year, uh, Receiving is definitely a better part of my game, catching the ball, focusing on the ball. You still returning kick, kicks? Yeah, definitely. You like that part of the, you do want to give that up? Oh, yeah, no, nah, I love returning kicks. I love returning kicks. Did you pen or do, as you said, a few times that he wants more rush game this year? What's the excitement level in your room for what the offense could be? Man, it's, it's up. We talk about it every day. We ready. We ready. We ready for that ball. Coach Signetti say anything to you guys a little differently last year than like you know Coach Whipple did? Is he challenge you guys a bit more or anything else? Uh, it's about the same thing, you know how all offensive coordinators up. We just got to score, protect the ball, perform to win, you know. What was your reaction when you heard that the entire offensive line was coming back for another year? Oh yeah, I was happy. I was definitely excited. We still talk about it today. Like you know, once I heard about that day, we were just excited. We were like, oh, yeah, it's about to be a big year for sure for the whole team. Did you expect that? Man? Uh, actually, I didn't. I actually didn't. I thought it was going to go to the NFL. <laughs> did you stick around? Like, so, go ahead, Chris. Do you feel like those guys, I mean, the linemen up front, do you see them playing with maybe something to prove to show people that they can, like, run block as well as they can? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, and I'll say the whole team as well. We still got a lot to prove, but the online definitely, every day they work like they, they nobody know them. Did you stick around after the scrimmage to go with the team to the Steeler game on Saturday? I think oh, I yeah. TV up in the crowd. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, whole, the whole team was there. You know, he was happy for Kenny, definitely. And he got the game winning. So, I, I, I mean, I expect the same thing. Kenny do that every time. So, I expect that. <laughs> you were going just to watch a preseason game, watch a play. Were you expecting to see such a thrilling ending, though? Oh, yeah. Player? Yeah, I already knew Kenny was going to show up, for sure. With, with, with Kenny gone, though, it now said, you know, okay, I know everyone's excited about Keaton and Nick and what you guys might do with the passing game, but the running game is going to have an emphasis. How much of a, like, is there like a, I guess, an excitement versus anxiety? It's like, hey, we got to prove ourselves week one that, that this is a different, that we're not just, we weren't just Jordan and Kenny last year. Yeah, definitely. Running backs, as I say, as a group, we definitely want to prove a lot this season. Not only week one, week two, week three, we definitely want to prove that we're, we're definitely, we could go back to the old pit and run the ball. We can show them. Do you expect to become or have the opportunity to be a feature back, or do you think it's going to be by a multitude of guys that are going to be rushing the ball this year? Well, as of right now, we don't have no type of ID, you know, based on the coaches. But to me, it doesn't matter. I just want to do it wherever to help my team and whatever can help the running back group, you know. anybody If anybody hot on the field, man, I'm happy for them. For real, for real. That's how it is in the running back group. Coaches hate fumbles. What happens to a running back when he puts the ball on the ground? What kind of penalty? Uh -huh. What do you have to do? Man, when a running back uh, fumble, you just you out the game. <laughs> you out the game, next running back up. What if you do it in like a practice out here? Do you gotta like go run laps or something? Uh, no, nah, it's not like, extreme like that. You just out the game, next running back up. <laughs> you mentioned running like the old pit. Is that something that Coach Narduzzi or Coach Nettie has talked to you about and decided and said, hey, we want to be like you know, Dorsett, Ironhead, Hayward, James Conner, and all that stuff? Yeah, I'd definitely say Coach Powell, our running back coach, yeah, he emphasized that. Just like Quadre, James Conner, D. Hall, you know, a bunch of them thousand run, uh, thousand yards running backs. That's you know, that's what we trying to like make up that name. We trying to get back to that. We trying to show them that we could do that as well. What do you know about the West Virginia rivalry and your excitement to play in a sold out? Program? Well, I'm actually just now learning it through our camp. Coaches would play the uh, they theme song, get us more mad. Even the workouts, shrimp coaches would tell us about it. How 
how there's a lot of trash on them, or they were talking and all that. So, you know, it's new to me, so I just can't wait to see. Izzy, how difficult has Coach Signetti's offense been able to pick up for you? Do you feel like you're easing into things, or do you feel like it's a bit more challenging than usual? Uh, I definitely say I would ease, I'm easing into things. At first in spring, it was a little more challenging because that was brand new, but now I'm definitely easing and easing in every day.